precious, life-saving cargo dropped into Gaza from the air. The US Air Force carrying out a second aid mission. But it's not nearly enough. These 36,000 parachuted meals equal roughly half a truck's worth of aid. Experts say more than 500 full trucks are needed every day. We must get more aid into Gaza. There's no excuses. None. The US president is ramping up his criticism of Israel as the UN warns of famine within the territory. Joe Biden's also warning of the danger should a ceasefire not be reached shortly. If we get into a circumstance where this continues through Ramadan, Israel and Jerusalem can, get, it can be very, very dangerous. But three days of high-level talks in Egypt have failed to secure a breakthrough. The six-week ceasefire proposal would see 40 hostages released in exchange for 400 Palestinian prisoners. Hamas says that won't happen unless troops withdraw from Gaza. The safety of our people will not be achieved without the withdrawal of Israel from every inch of the Gaza Strip. Any exchange of prisoners cannot take place before this is achieved. We have an opportunity for an immediate ceasefire and it is on Hamas to make decisions about whether it is prepared to engage in that ceasefire. It's been notable to see Israeli war cabinet minister and political rival of PM Benjamin Netanyahu, Benny Gantz, invited for high-level meetings at the White House. It shows the Biden administration is not just critical of Hamas, it's also angry about Israel's recent handling of the crisis and is looking for leaders who can take a different path. Eric Tworczyk, ABC News, Jerusalem.